Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about iodine and the relationship to your IQ, okay? So iodine deficiencies are really a big problem on this planet right now. I want to read something to you. Iodine deficiencies affect approximately 2 billion people worldwide. Now that's a lot of people. What is there, 7 billion people on the planet and this is like 2 billion? So a large percent of us are deficient in iodine. Iodine is very important in supporting the brain function, okay? Growth of a child, regulating estrogen, supporting the thyroid function. And if you're deficient, you can become, have a goiter where you have this uh, bulge in your neck, this swollen thyroid gland. So there is a condition called intellectual disability, which is mental retardation, where the IQ is less than 70. And the person has lower motor skills, slow learning, a decrease in solving problems, difficulty adapting to a new situation. 50% of the time, this condition is idiopathic. Sounds pretty scientific, doesn't it? I mean, if I say you have an idiopathic condition, well, this means unknown cause. They don't know what causes it. It's an iodine deficiency, okay? If you are pregnant, consume seek help, okay? I highly recommend it. The last thing you want to do is become def iodine deficient when you're carrying a baby, okay? If you know people that are actually going to have a child, tell them about this information. Make sure they get on a good trace mineral. Make sure the iodine is from a food-based sea kelp and make sure it's a quality sea kelp because a lot of times the oceans are polluted and uh, you don't want to pull those toxins in. But iodine is also good for regulating estrogen, fibrocystic breast, uh, cyst in the ovaries. It's good to support a low thyroid and also a goiter. In summary, I hope now you see the importance of the trace mineral iodine. Hey guys, a lot of you already have my book. Some of you don't. But this new edition called the New Body Type Guide is an upgrade from my last edition called the Seven Principles of Fat Burning. It has 156 images, 378 pages, full glossary. I talk about keto, intermittent fasting, the body types in detail. I have a new stress chapter. I'm going to show you exactly what to eat and a comprehensive FAQ. I put a link down below. Check it out.